It's such a joy to spend lazy afternoons with good food and good company, but there are a few key considerations to making sure that you have the best possible space. I like to implement the same design principles outdoors as I would indoors, so considering basically the space that you're using as a room or a zone. I really like to dress an outdoor table in exactly the same way that I would indoors and make it feel really spectacular in its occasion. And the way you dress it is dependent on the sort of mood you want to convey and how you want to feel in that space. So if you have sort of a, a relaxed family gathering, you might want to consider something like an English country garden theme, for example. Every item on the table should be considered so that it feels one of a whole. So that's the linens, it's the plates and the cutlery, coloured lanterns, the types of flowers you choose for example, all down to the smallest detail. You can have some real fun with it. So understanding your garden's orientation I think is really key. But your main dining and seating area I think really has to be in the southwesterly aspect so that you can really make the best of the sunny afternoon and into the evening time. If you've got friends over, um, then perhaps more sort of Swedish contemporary look. Um, again, it rather depends on the architecture and style of your house as well and how you want to take the inside out. Architectural planting is a wonderful way to be able to add instant impact and also to add height and depth to any scene. So I like using bamboo because it rustles in the wind and it sways and it's got a lovely movement to it. And jasmine and honeysuckle, for example, will give you a lovely sort of pungent fragrance of, a, of an evening, which will really sort of add to the experience of being outdoors. If you're having a party and you want a real sense of energy, then bring in some bright singy colours and make sure that your table sings to you. Unfortunately in the UK we can never guarantee the weather and it can get quite nippy in the evenings as well so having a fire pit has become a very popular way to extend the day um, and being able to huddle around it I think that's quite a primeval thing about it, it makes you feel quite content and then lastly and most importantly of course is the mood lighting to create a really beautiful ambience and there's nothing quite like candles and lanterns to be able to do that. If you've got a large enough outdoor space to be able to do so, and particularly if you've got some lovely trees in the garden, think about using those to their best advantage. So perhaps you could string some lights, hang some lampshades, have some fun with it. You know, perhaps have a couple of chairs underneath so that you have a different view. You have somewhere to go to, different times of the day, where you can perhaps look back at the house or be part of a different area. Almost feels like you've gone on holiday for a while.